is there anything I wanted to practice or look at? I don't think so. I'll just go and do another one. Finish up with 55 completed runs tonight. Well on my way to my goal of a hundred finished runs. Something I should remember to mention, it's a really small thing, but when I make a general movement guide for this game, it's worth knowing that when you start mending a tear, I don't think you can turn at all. So you need to be really conscious of where you are when you start mending it. Which is why sometimes I end up dying at the end of the level 6 boss. I start mending the tear as it's going around the bend, and uh, I've got a bad and in doing that, the tear's gravity just kind of pulls me off a cliff. Yeah, basically. Drive faster. <laughs> does, does that help? Yeah, 
good. Not perfect, but good. Oh, you know, there is one jump that I should probably be practicing. There's something that would save me a couple of seconds on level 5. I should try to remember to, uh, to do that next time I start runs of this. Muzz, did you like in my flying percent run of this when I went through and killed every enemy in this level? Toaster, let's go. Warning. Incoming tears. Evacuate area immediately. Okay, 25, so about 36. I'll blow this up. What? Hey. Let's try that again. There it is. I'm sure that was delaying the terror spawn. Getting an enemy destroyed dialogue 10 seconds before the terror spawned. God, Muzz, my summer best is at the point. Where if I can play every level within one second of my best seg, that would be a 40 RTA. <laughs> and Which I mean, obviously that's still not going to happen, but it's crazy to me that it's even gotten to that point. Considering, like, the 42 I have now is something that I used to think might be, like, the limit of what could happen in this game. I guess it's not too bad. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's a little bit later than I'd like to die, but it's okay. Warning. Incoming tears. Evacuate area immediately. 
be careful here. Don't fall again, please. Okay. Yeah, it would have been nice if I died just a little bit sooner, but it's okay. Let's see what kind of cycle we're on here. Oh, we're on a cycle. We're on a good cycle. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Fingerbreath's troops just flew by here. We just need to get CCS to leak us the source code of the game. Come on, CCS, you can get another job. I've been getting a lot better at catching this cycle and still getting to this tear on time. I've been really happy with that. So yeah, the jump I want to practice is um, on the first ramp here, jumping straight from there up to the final path, rather than jumping on here first. Because I know you can do that, it's just a little tight. Little tight and not free. But definitely possible. We golded it again! I think almost entirely because I did the last two jumps very slightly better than last run. Prepare to face the mother of all ABC tanks. Meg ABC. So, Muzz, uh, another thing, by the way, that I was thinking, uh, I have a suspicion that this boss is just harder as Enzo, because you're shorter, so Enzo loses tracking on the boss sooner, and you can't get as many pistol shots in. Because I was thinking about it, and it seemed like, you know... Sometimes I have a lot of trouble doing this boss well, and I think those times are when I'm playing as Enzo.
So I think Bob might actually just be faster. <laughs> Entirely because of this boss. It's just that the kits jump is so much harder as Bob. <laughs> Maybe? Uh, the problem with that is if your body is tilted, you aim the direction your body is facing, basically. And so if you end up at a bad angle, you're just going to be pointed at the ground or way in the sky. But yes, if you can if you can keep yourself lined up with the boss, it's possible that would uh, that would work. That's a good idea. I mean, if we're looking at just the time save or loss that it causes, if I stopped going... Really? Oh, God damn it! If I stopped going for the kit's jump, that would cost me, like, three seconds. And if I stop being consistent with the level 8 doors, that would theoretically cost me no time? Since I could still get to the terror? Fast. Well, I guess it would cost time going to the vid window, so maybe another two or three seconds. Whereas the level six boss is consistently, like, more than ten seconds I'm losing. So just going based on that, are you serious? Enzo, get on the ramp! What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Oof. Enzo. Blanzo. Enzo Schmenzo. No! Oh, man. Felt, I felt Enzo going off the path and just couldn't correct for it in time. Ah, uh -uh. okay. Well, the forecast for this sector calls for a high that's not too bad. I keep doing that thing where I, uh... Are you serious, Enzo? <laughs> you went right past a turret! Anyway, I was gonna say, I keep doing that thing where, uh... I, I just keep trying to leave tears too early before I've mended them. Hey, Stu. Thank you for the sub. Oh, crud. I... Okay. <laughs> Not even getting it. I need to go on the side path again. Which isn't the end of the world, I can still get to the tear before it spawns, it's just frustrating. It makes it harder. End 
please. Ah, oh, rats. Yeah, I, I was doing that thing too. Oh my god. Shocked that I got up there. Shocked, I tell you. That tear absolutely should have thrown me off the platform. down. They're spawning. Okay. <laughs> the first time you've noticed shooting? Yeah. There's a lot to this game, and uh... I don't know, after my first, like, 30 runs, I've stopped talking about most of it. <laughs> So there's just a lot of stuff to notice. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no, we still got it. Okay, okay. Dang, it's a shame I messed up the start so bad. Because I finally got the ending right. I guess I did get to all the tears before they spawned, so... Or at least right as they spawned. There's still a couple more seconds that can come off of that, because I wasn't mending the tears very well. But, uh, but that was good. That was good. Grot. Ooh, very nice. Just two seconds in each level. Enzo! Oh my god, get off of the thing! <laughs> so there's a mechanic in this uh, where your character tries to catch themselves on a ledge if they're about to just, like, float off a ledge. And I'm sure that's helpful casually, but since I've gotten good at the movement, it is only ever in my way. Tune in next level and see for yourself. Ooh, noey. That was a really bad jump. At least I fell onto the top layer, so... Didn't lose too much time, relatively. Have a good night, Stu. Presence of the red creatures indicates that Megabyte may not be in total control of this sector.
What? No, hey. Let's not mess up kits again. Sector four. Kits. Anti-bikes Uh, yep. With Bob's popularity minimized and Megabyte's plan growing by the nano, things look bleak for Bob's boot sector. Kits. You know, Muzz, the more I'm playing this, I keep addressing this to Muzz because Muzz is the other runner, but I don't need to. I guess this is something anybody watching and interested in this game can hear about. Um, I used to keep thinking of lag reduction as some, like, you know, crazy precise final thing to worry about in optimizing this game. But I bet if we can figure it out in just a few spots, we could save quite a few seconds. Like, if we could find some lag reduction just on level 8 going from the final tear to the vid window, we could probably get, like, four seconds off of that level just from the game moving faster. <laughs> as an example. Assuming you could, like, actually reduce all of the lag, which that would be questionable. But even so, even if it's just a couple of seconds in five or six spots, that would be big. So looking into lag reduction might be actually worthwhile at some point. Sarah, this is a different character. His name is Small Green Bob. That's what everybody calls him all the time. Ragey for coming up with Blenzo in the moment. How are you doing, Sarah? Hope you're having a good night. Uh. Okay, good. A little, a little worried about that, but we got it. Oh my god, wait a minute. That's it. Oh, I've done this before. Okay. Sorry, sub 30 uh, on that boss was a big milestone in my mind for a long time, but I guess I've had a better pace than this before. I just, I must have just not noticed it last time. My tornado tear 
I will obliterate Floating Point Park. <laughs> Still, sub 30 coming into Floating Point Park. That's really good. <laughs> Oops, uh, straight lines, straight lines. Muzz, you know, if you want to find big time save in this game, this is a level to look. if we can't come up with a faster route. Warning. Incoming chairs. Evacuate area immediately. Ooh, I thought that was going to be so much lower than it was. I am much further along in the cycle than I thought. Which, actually, I did know that earlier, I just forgot by the time I got to that point. I noticed it uh, coming off of the first tear that I was pretty late. Battle Block's a fun game. That was a bad jump. Ooh. I wonder if I can use that hill to jump directly to the bit window. That'd be nice. <laughs> Very nice golf. Because, yeah, that would be a time save on that level right there, just uh, not needing to wait on that other platform before before jumping up. What have you done to clash? Another thing I can practice, I guess. Oh, what am I doing? That's the old strat. Started getting ready to go straight to the tear. Matters much, but that was about 44. I'll keep that in mind. This is one of those death abuses where I can kind of just do it whenever. Like, as long as I follow my path close enough. There's, there's just a lot of leeway on it. Nope. 
Oh, okay. Well, now I'm here. I think I'd call the one with three likes more popular, to be honest. Evacuate area immediately. Get out of my way! All of you, get out of- Argh! Fart! Big fart. Big, big fart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These boxes. They kind of never stop sucking. They never stop. No, it's fine. It. Uh, it's kind of a big stink, but it also doesn't really matter. This is a good run, but it wasn't perfect. So it's not a huge deal. Again. Let's go. Okay, let's just do the rest of the game within four seconds of best six, and we're good. And we're good. 41. Let's go. Bumping on that ceiling is frustrating. I don't know why that jump, in particular, is, is difficult. Sarah leveled up. Huzzah! Big level two. I 
to work on getting the, uh, the keys faster. Because I could save a couple of seconds in this level by doing that. I don't think to my gold. I think my gold is already pretty good here. No, I could save time to gold even if I could just get the keys faster. Mm. A little bit of rerouting might be in order there. Good boss. <laughs> Thank you, Buzz. I'll be sure to get to that just as soon as I can. I'll pencil you in for 2036. The year is 20xx. Sando Toaster is caught up on his stream redemptions. <laughs> Woo! 4207. Another 35 seconds off of my PP. <laughs> I'm curious, comparing to best pace. God, that was not my best kits. Like, my best kits pace. That was my best site E. Lost a bunch of time on the boss, of course, because the boss is hard. But, uh... Yeah, I guess I did lose a bunch of time in level 7. And 9. So I guess that makes sense. Neat. Within 90 seconds of... Oh wait, no, I got golds, never mind. <laughs> Within 93 seconds of best sex. That's pretty, pretty cool.